Hey guys, I'm Lenny and today we have added a simple, well, kinda simple redstone clock for our uh, carrot farm. After some testing <laughs> we have chosen this setup. I mean, we've tried uh, hoppers to just transfer items in between them, but that was too difficult because you need to control which hopper is allowed to well transfer stuff and this dropper design is way easier than what we could come up with with those hoppers so um it's a fairly simple design this clock is set up to like roughly one second and it keeps ticking and it keeps ticking and it keeps transferring the signal through this block this block is triggering the dropper and the dropper is throwing stuff into the other dropper and when it gets well when it's empty it triggers this comparator which is inverting this signal through the redstone torch which lights up presses or pushes the block here and sends the signal further and then the other dropper that's full is gonna happen right now there we go starts ticking down moving stuff moving items into this dropper and the whole system is just running again and again when the tick or the signal comes from here that's what i call a tick it's around one minute when that happens it triggers the same system here but this system is set up to like uh, 50 minutes uh, enough time for the carrots to grow oh, sorry um, I just finished eating and um, when it ticks it goes into this weird loop um, it's not a loop actually there's a problem with the signal and that's why this little thingy is here when this ticks when the signal comes out it's a like stable signal it's not a pulse and that's a problem this system helps to convert the signal that comes out into a pulse now this thing I'm still not sure how it works I kinda feel that this works like an end gate maybe in this case so and it only works when the signal, uh, this signal comes later than this one. I have copied this part actually from someone else. I've seen that on their island. Um, I wanted to do something else, but I, I liked that this was kind of compact. So uh, the signal comes out, it goes into the comparator right away. Nothing happens at all. And then it comes through, through here. And after a certain delay, it goes into the comparator again and then finally the comparator sends the signal through the block it goes directly to the farm which triggers the dispensers uh, to release the water and then it goes onto this loop that's set up to wait like 10 maybe maybe 12 seconds to just delay the signal and when it comes back into the droppers into the dispensers it sucks out the water out of the farm simple easy pretty large um, yeah <laughs> it's really really big pretty much anything you want to do in vanilla is gonna take a lot of space you cannot create clocks with just one block and such yeah mod packs kind of rock in that regard um, not much new here I was kind of playing around with the uh, I don't know what's this called it's like a memory simple memory unit I guess if you send signal to one side let me just uh, it switches and it kind of remembers its state so right now I cannot change it back using this this side I need to change it like that 
So that's that was one thing that I wanted to use for the farm, but this was way easier. But I want to mess around with redstone and create some fun stuff maybe. I'd like to create something that's gonna make me money. But so far from what I can see, the simple stuff is good enough. But hey, um, it's making me like 332k per double chest of carrots if I don't craft a rabbit farmer stew out of them. Which is really, really not enough. Nowhere near what I need. <laughs> um, I've asked on the forums about how people make money and how to kind of progress through the game and I didn't get any decent responses that would kind of help me so I'm thinking that there's no way to kind of get unstuck from my situation um, some guy mentioned that well I mentioned that I'm solo I don't play with anyone and he said that I should go into the top adventure which is the demonic realm and start killing demons and take advantage of a an alliance upgrade I think this one for the adventure mob drop mob, money mob drops yeah solo player and the suggestion is to use alliance buff yeah never, I, I, maybe he was inviting me into their alliance I don't think so Maybe he didn't read what I mentioned there. I guess, yeah, whatever. At least he tried to help. That's good. Um, that's pretty much it. My head is killing me from like three hour meeting that I had a few hours before ago. And I'm really just dying here. So this one is gonna be short. A simple redstone clock, just like that. That's it <laughs> for today. <laughs> See you guys next time, bye bye.